Hello, good evening and welcome. We're here today at the end in London and we're interviewing uh, Goldie from Metalheads. Unfortunately, Goldie's not going to be able to make it today, but he's sent a representative and he, he should be here soon. I'm, I'm sure he's meant to be coming. Hey, hi. Oh, hello. Hey, welcome. It's me. I represent uh, Goldie. I'm Guido. Hello, Guido. Hi. Good evening. Um, you are... Is Goldie not coming? No, he, uh, he'll be coming shortly, but he said you are friction or friction or... Friction. Oh. Friction. Good. Percentage. I like. Yeah. yeah you, you are playing with me on Friday. Next Friday at the end for back to back. We are dancing back to back, no? I thought um, I was doing back to back with Goldie. No, no, no. Thing. Hold on. This may be him. Goldie? Hello, one second. No. Can, he won't, can I speak to him? You got him, he wants sex with you back to back, no? He, maybe Goldie. J J I'm scared. Okay. Let me, one second, I, I go back. <laughs> Hello everybody! Ah. Ah. Hello mate. He's been winding me. Ah, oh, please. There you go. That's off. How about that? Hello Ed. Right. You alright mate? Well. So we've got some questions here that we're going right. to go through. Talking okay. about Friday the 15th. Yeah. Shogun Metalheads. Yeah. God, well. He's got questions for me and questions for you. I know. Oh, that's good, isn't it? God. Yeah. yeah. So we were on the, we've been on the phone for the last few days, actually quite excited, actually about next week. And um, in our own kind of way, I guess we've been. It's been a bit mad because you know, kind of going full circle again. I think people are kind of ready to have a good time. Mm. Um, but yeah. So friction. Your early memories of Mel is as is what I'm hearing. Line question well, I want to ask you. Obviously, for me. The label which really kind of started the whole drum and bass thing, taking it from the hardcore sound into the jungle thing from back in the day, and basically I think, you know, I'm not just saying this because you're here, but I don't know where we'd be without it, mate, to yeah. be honest, you know what I mean? Obviously the longevity of the label is really important. Yeah. You know, Shogun Audio, and it's a thing that you took up as a project and you wanted to kind of carry on. And um, from my point of view as well, looking in, I've seen a lot of the releases are quite diversified. Mm. And I think that's very, you know, what Metalheads tried to emulate in the beginning. And is it something that you see, you know, your catalogue really being an important part of what you, you know, not just play, but something that you allow artists to be quite creative with as well? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, what we say with all the artists, we just want them to go in and make music. If you look at the artists that make music for the label, it's all very, we try and go 360 completely, you know, there's like mellow styles, there's angry styles, but keeping the soul in it, which I think, Mm. You know, I might be speaking out of turn, but it's kind of, you know, what, you about, yeah. uh, what was your thinking behind the lineup? Of, of I think it had to be, you know, like I think the whole lineup had to sum up what what both labels do, which isn't far, you know, oh, yeah. but it isn't that far apart. But like, it had to sum up what we did, and you know, I think the combination was right. You know, like I think Dot Scott and Randall. Yeah, you know what you're going to get, that's, that's yeah. naughty, I want to hear that, yeah, you know, that's what I said. I'm not forget me in here. Yeah. Uh, I had Randall the other week and he thought, you know, Randall's definitely back. And I know Scotty and I think that whole thing with Scotty going online and saying, you know what, I kind of got fed up so with playing the same stuff. About music, so passionate yeah. about it and to be passionate about it where he got really consciously aware of it, like, you know, he just wasn't happy with what he was playing and he wasn't going to deny it and he wasn't going to succumb to the kind of, the cattle farming of the industry is becoming a lot of sense of and, um, I think that's a great lineup, though. I yeah, mean, I think the lineup is so it's we've got Randall and Doc Scott, we've got Break and Icicle, so you can get some B lines yeah, there, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. get bass there. Um, Comics and Alex Perez, yeah. they're going to be bringing the fun and soul. Yeah. Do you know well, I mean? they, you know, in a secretive way, I reckon Alex is going to be like, I'm going to get you, and I'll do the comics, I'm going to lie down that easy. No, that's it. So that's nice you know, they're both going to be smiling, but yeah. they're in their minds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So with Malice in Wonderland, yeah. Why the use of the Ruffage Crew alias? Well, Ruffage Crew has always been the, the alter ego of Goldie, and Malice in Wonderland was like me to get back to what that was about, and I literally blew the dust off a lot of old samples after being away for three years, and went, well, nothing really has happened, and uh, I just wanted to kind of get that old sound back. Yeah. But well, since we did that, we st we, um, we didn't stop, me and Larry Strider, and carried on and did Memoirs of an Afterlife, which mm. you have, yes. Ed. I know. 
Um, very few do. You and Deebridge, Doug Scott, Marcus. I mean, that's one of those albums that I did and finished just before Christmas. And I love Ruffish Crew because it just it separates the wood from the chaff. It's like Ruffish Crew is, you know, first or third gear. Mm. Goldie is third gear into sixth into overdrive. Yeah. I think for me as well, being one of the few people that's actually got the tunes and listening to them and hearing them, to me it is, it is, it typifies your sound mm. and I think you've kind of got, you've managed to get keep your sound completely but mm. with the 2008. Yeah, well more than Malice did. I said that to you, didn't I? Yeah, but more than Malice did, I think. Malice was like, oh yeah, it does this kind of stuff. Yeah. But I think, I think, I think Memoirs is probably more left field but definitely more roughage, more goldy sound. Yeah, yeah, sound. yeah. Which is cool.